thing. This is a dollar bill, which is the uh, now devalued dollar bill. And on the back of the dollar bill, there's a seal on this side. It's called the Great Seal of the United States. That's what it's called. It's their seal. Now behind the seal, this is actually what is behind the Great Seal of the United States, is a pyramid with one eye. Now the one eye is the sun god, Ray, which is where we get the word Ray, sun rays. It is the sun god, same Mithraic character. And he shows up again and again. This is the Masonic god of the, the Ray. If you look, you'll see the pyramid is built except for the top. It's built except for the top. The eye is suspended above the top. It hasn't come down yet. Because they believe until they finished the Masonic project, which is the, the, what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuata Chapters, he is pleased with our project. In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? This is the question. What is the project that this God is pleased with? The project is literally the secularization of the world. To completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This is the project. And that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum. A new secular or worldly order. If you translate that into Arabic, it would be a Nizam al alami a dunyawi Not Al-Jadid. It would be a dunyawi The new temporal order. The new order of the world. And we know what dunya is in Arabic. Dunya has a negative connotation in Islam. Unlike alam, which does not have a negative connotation. If you read the Quran, alam is not a negative connotation. Rabbul alameen. Allah is Lord of the alameen. We are part of the alam. The alam is the passive form of alim. It's what is known. It is how we know al alim. The world is how we know Allah. We don't know Allah through dunya. Dunya is the the illusory nature of the world. It's the gharura, it's the aspect of the world that deludes you, thinking that you're permanent, thinking that you can transgress, thinking that you're independent from Allah. This is the dunya. This is why the wife is not considered dunya, and the husband for the wife is not considered dunya. And food in order to keep your body healthy is not considered dunya. Money in order to work and spend on the halal and do your uh, responsibilities, none of those things by Islamic understanding are considered dunya. Dunya is the illusory element of the world. It's that element that takes people away from the akhirah. And this is shaitan's game. Shaitan's game is to take people away. Shaitana means to make distant. Dunya is near. He makes us feel that dunya is what is close, not akhira. Islam tells us dunya is distant. One of the root meanings of dunya is to reach out for grapes that you can never grasp. Because this is the nature of dunya. You will never be able to get it. It will always evade you. The Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith sahih that's in the Riyadh al-Sariheen. He said, if the, the son of Adam, لو كان لبن آدم جبر من الذهب if the son of Adam had one mountain of gold, he would only want a second one. لا يمنع فاء ابن آدم إلا تراب قبره. Nothing will fill. Or لا يشبع ابن آدم. Ibn Adam will never be satiated. His mouth will never be filled except with the dust of his own grave. This is a deluded person. لا يغرنك بالله الغرور. Don't let the deluder delude you. Don't let the deluder delude you. Don't let him think that this dunya is what is important. The message of Islam is the akhirah is important. Because you are muqbirun ala al-akhirah, mudbirun ala dunya We are heading towards the akhirah. We are heading away from the dunya. The akhirah in Arabic is called ajila because it only is realized through the ajal. Everybody has an appointed ajal. We have an appointed ajal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَأَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاكُمْ وَأَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاكُمْ حَتَّى لَا يَأْتِي حَتَّى لَا يَأْتِي يَأْتِي أَنَّكُمْ أَحَدُ الْمَوْتِ فَيَقُولَ رَبِّي لَوْلَا أَخَّرْتَنِي إِلَى أَجِرٍ مُسَمَّى 
فَأَصَدَّقَ وَأَكُمْ مِنَ الصَّارِحِينَ This is what the man says. Spend out from what Allah has given you. In other words, get rid of the dunya now. Spend out. Get rid of it now so it benefits you later. And don't be deluded by it. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, because when the ajal comes, what's the human being going to say? Rabbi, lawla akhartani. If you just let me go back, delay this ajal, let me go back to the dunya. You're in akhirah now. Let me go back to the dunya. Fa'asaddaqa. I'll get rid of that dunya. I won't keep it in my pockets. Asaddaqa wa akum min as salihin. And I'll be from the people of righteousness. Walan yuakhirah. Ida ja ajruha. Lan yuakhiru. Nafsan, ida ja ajruha. Wallahu alimun. Khabirun bima ta'amalun. Allah will not delay this ajal. Allah will not delay it. When it comes to the nafs, Allah will not delay it. This is what the shaitan wants to make people believe. This is what the dunya wants to make people believe. That when you go into the malls, right, in America, the malls literally are telling people there's no time. You see, it's like Disneyland. If you go to Disneyland, which is part of the importing of the American religion, Mickey Mouse is probably going to be with the idols in, in hell, burnt like these other idols because it's the seal of goodness in their in their deen if you go to Disneyland in the United States it says you leave today you leave today and enter the world of yesterday and tomorrow what is that? that's delusion people live in the past and the future Muslims are people live in the present right? we remember, we, we remember now dhikr is not remembering the past it's remembering Allah, which Allah is reality. Allah has no past and no future. Allah is reality. This is what Muslims remember. We remember quite literally the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Habara in huwa ma'akum ayna ma kuntum. Allah is with you wherever you go with His knowledge. This is the dhikr of the Muslims. We literally remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? We do dhikr to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These other people drink liquor to forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? I mean, we go, this is what, we go to this dhikr store. They go to their liquor store to drink up and forget. We go to our dhikr store, which is the heart, to remember Allah, not to forget. They want to forget because it's too painful. Once they start seeing things. They did a study, Omni magazine in the United States. 80% of in this study, right? They love statistics. 80% of the people in their study that meditated. They, in other words, they closed their eyes, turn off the radio, turn off the TV, turn off the Muzak. They closed their eyes, not to go to sleep, but just to spill their thoughts. 80% had anxiety attack. This is true. And that's why they pump music in. Years ago I was in England and, and there was a farm and, there was, uh, and I heard this rock and roll music blasting. And I went with somebody to see what it was. It was a pig farm. And they play the music for the pigs because they eat more. That's what the farmer told us. He said they eat, they eat more with rock music, they eat less with classical music. So they play rock music for them to eat more, to get fatter so they can sell them. This is what they do here. They play them all this music. They found, this is not a joke. When you go into store, I don't know, do they do this here? They play music in the stores? You know why they do that? They did studies and found people stay longer. They graze like animals. Allah says, Hum kal an'am. They're like cattle grazing. Belhum abalu sabila. They're even more astray than cattle. Why? Because a cow, if it sees a car coming for it, it's going to get out of the road. I mean, the cow is not going to hang around. And with the cow, if you show the knife to a bull, he's going to charge you. He knows what's coming. That's why they have to stun them first. Right? But these people let them literally slaughter them. They go to the slaughter singing. Like the people, really, and I've you said this before, the state of the world right now, if we're like, you know the Titanic, did it leave from Liverpool? Where did Titanic leave? It left from England. Huh? Southampton? Where? The, the Titanic, this is what we're on. We're on the Titanic. Huh? Southampton? Where? The, the Titanic, this is what we're on. We're on the Titanic. Welcome to the Titanic. We're on it. And they, they're, they're driving it. Oh, the Muslims are downstairs in the hall. We're not even on the deck. We're in the hall.
and they're driving it and they're headed right for the iceberg and they're saying this is an unsinkable ship.